This is just a real quick overview of the C3 game. There are very detailed instructions on how to put the game together and how to play the game in the actual curriculum, but this is just a real quick visual um, picture to show you the, uh, how the, the pieces get set on the board and the basic method of play. So to set up, you need to put your photons at the start. Um, in this game, we've got four different players, four different colors there, the photons, and they can actually go on the start circles. And you need to have your longer shuttle buses in these spaces here. You need to have some spare protons outside the proton pump. Your short shuttle buses go here. You need to have some water molecules in this space. <coughs> and a water molecule is nothing more than an oxygen and two hydrogens. And a hydrogen is nothing more than an electron and a proton. So if you take an electron card and a proton card, put them together, that makes a hydrogen. So now we have two H's and an O, H2O, water. Down here you need to have your ADPs ready to be turned into ATPs and the way we accomplish this is there's a slit cut in here and it's actually already ATP but you hide that last phosphate okay so that you can imagine when you come through here ta-da it pulls out and we're pretending that this gets click back on, but for right now you hide that third phosphate. Your NADPH trucks go right there. You'll need to have, each player has two PGA little shuttle things that go in there, and then you each have an RUBP card, and then there's a three carbon card and a two carbon card that tuck into there, and they go on their spaces like that, and it doesn't matter what order um, the pieces go in, it doesn't matter, you know, green has to go here, or, you know, the, the pieces can be mixed up because when you come along, you just pick up your color and move. And like when you get over here, um, if, the, if the blue person arrives here first, you can just like switch or like that. It doesn't really matter where they go. So um, order's not important, but that's the basic setup of where all the pieces go. This game has two parts, the light dependent phase and the light independent phase, or the Calvin cycle. In the light independent phase, you start here at Photosystem 2, and I'm going to show you how you roll the dice. I'm going to move some of these guys through here. You can only go from circle to circle if they're touching. So, one, two, three, four, five. However, you can also not have more than one, you have to go here, one, two, three, four, five. He can't land here because uh, you can't have two on the same spot. So this guy is going to have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. He can go that way. And this may create some bottlenecks, but that just adds to the excitement of the game. Oh, it's going to be behind. Um, you may have people kind of get stuck for a turn or two where they can't use all their hops. But what that does is it kind of spaces the players out a little bit so they don't all arrive at the same place at the same time. <clears throat> so it looks like this guy is going to get through first. And he's going to land on chlorophyll A, which activates uh, this molecule to release the electron. Okay, we're going to pick up the electron and I'll put it in this color coordinated little shuttle there. Okay, and with the electron disappearing, you have to replace it, right? That's the way the um, this photosystem works. And where do you get the replacement? Of course, you get it from tearing apart a water molecule. So you need to replace the uh, electron there. And you can just leave the proton there for a minute. You'll probably need it in a minute. And then you go back to the beginning because the shuttle needs two electrons. So you're going to have to start over here again. And these guys will take their turns. And then once this guy's turn again, he starts through. Okay, when you have your... You have two electrons in your shuttle. You are then eligible to add two protons, because you're going to ride along in the back seat there. 
and on your next move you go to here and you're going to feed the electrons through the pump into your other shuttle and the protons are going to go like this into the lumen and at the same time you're also going to bring two more protons through. So what you've done is transferred four protons total in here and you've transferred your electrons to the small shuttle and then you can put this shuttle back. You're then going to proceed in one move to here, this little parking lot, and you're going to need your photon again. We'll just leave these guys uh, where they are and I'll continue with this player here. Start on one of the start circles. Once again, you're going to roll the die to get through. And when you, this time when you hit chlorophyll A, you're going to take one of your electrons here. After they did all this work of pumping, they're tired out and they need to be re-energized. Re this is how they get re-energized. You're going to put the electron from the cart down here so that when this guy comes along and energizes it, then you have to move to a carrier. It's a little bit different from, than this first part. The electron has to sit on the carrier for one turn and then it can go into the truck. And of course you're going to have to do that twice um, to get the other, pop it through, re-energize it, transfer it to the carrier, transfer it to the truck. Now there's another thing you need to be working on simultaneously here while you're moving your little shuttles through. Once there's enough protons available inside the lumen, you need to use the die to move your proton down through the ATP synthase machine so that you can free one of your ADPs, make an ATP. So you just use the die to go through here. When you get out the other side, the proton has done the work of twisting this thing. And then when you come out the other side, you can pick up your ATP. And then you take it over here and you put it in the ATP storage area and it's going to sit and wait until you need it for this phase in the Calvin cycle. So it doesn't matter what order you do things in as long as there's enough protons here to feed through. But if you want to do like one round here and then do this and get your ATPs, that's fine. Or if you want to get, you know, um, get all this done and do the ATP second or do, it doesn't really matter. But what you need is to end up with your shuttle track here and your two ATPs ready for action right there. And these are going to be the energy sources, sort of like the batteries that power the Calvin cycle. When you get to the light independent phase of the Calvin cycle, remember the main goal is to produce a PGAL that you can choose. You can just, if you, if you really want to make one of these PGAs go through here, you've made three carbon sugar. If you want to make glucose, you're going to have to have both of them go through. Um, but I'll show you for the first round. We'll just make one PGA. What you do is um, you have your energy source here, your ATPs, and your NADPH with their supercharged electrons. And you'll need to roll the uh, die to get through here. Um, the first thing that happens is you um, pick up your carbon from Rubisco, and it doesn't matter what order these are in. If the if um, you know the blue is here, the green guy gets first. You can switch them, or you should, you can just pick it up straight from here. It's either way is fine. The first thing that happens is kind of remember it's kind of pointless um, kind of move. It seems like where um, the six carbon sugar. This is a five carbon sugar, and you really can't stick another one in there, as you can see. The space, there's not really space for another carbon if they fill the cart. So what you have to do right away, this piece is going to become useless because you're going to take these out and you're going to put the three carbon piece into one of them. And then you're going to put the two carbon piece and the carbon you just picked up into one of them. So thus you've made two three carbon units. And you can use either one. Um, doesn't matter. You just choose one of them, roll, oh, if you get a one you can roll again there, so you have another one. Go up here, and when you get to gain a phosphate, you stop, and you take a phosphate from one of your 
ATPs and you add it in there. Then you roll the die again to go to the square. When you get here, it says lose a phosphate and gain two E's. So you take the phosphate back out again. You can just set it there. Kind of seems a little bit silly to gain it here and lose it there, but that's what happens. And then you transfer over the two electrons and proton into here. And as soon as you've done that, it's now not PGA, but PGAL. And then you roll your way through here. And when you get out, um, that's the end. You have a PGAL and it's half a glucose and you have the option of stopping here if you can just make a p-gal and end or if you would like to make a glucose which is two three carbons hook together to make a six carbon sugar you'll need to get this guy through here and to do that you have your energy from your TP left over but your truck is empty so unfortunately you're going to have to move your truck back down to the parking lot and to fill it you're going to need uh, electrons from here and to get those, those electrons came from here, so you're basically going to have to go back to the beginning again and use your photon and go through this photo system again to fill it up. Now, to make it a little bit faster, because the students will be groaning, oh no, not again, what you can do is you can allow for um, the score on the die to be um, doubled. So if you roll 5, you get a 10, you roll 3, you get a 6. So that should get them through the photosystem pretty quickly.